The best laptops under $500 won't leave you unsettled because you didn't pay a premium price. There are currently a lot of great options for you guys who are in the market for a new laptop at a, at a low price. The lineup of laptops under $500 I've rounded up below highlights some great machines that can help you get things done without hurting your wallet too badly. Before we start, let me know what laptop you currently own and how is your experience with it. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these laptops, you can check out the links in the description below. Alright, let's get started. Without wasting time, we start the list with the Acer Aspire 5, a well-known name in the industry for making great budget laptops. The Acer Aspire 5 is a solid workhorse that won't strain your purse, but it brings on board good performance, an attractive design, and some extra like a backlit keyboard at a very reasonable price. It has a minimalist design that is not flashy with the Acer logo clearly visible on the back end of the laptop as well as the center of the lower bezel. In terms of weight, the company has managed to keep the laptop at a comfortable 3.97 pounds, making it rather portable device all things considered. Display-wise, the Acer Aspire 5 offers a 15.6-inch display with a 1080p resolution, which is crisp and clear for viewing media on the go. It is great for users who want to do light editing or gaming. Featuring an AMD Ryzen 3 3350U processor, Radeon Vega 6 graphics, 4GB of DDR4 RAM, and biometric fingerprint reader plus Windows Hello Sign-In options help you keep your laptop secure. This laptop comes with only 128GB of SSD storage, which is enough if you don't store a lot of files on your computer. Imagine you're having a mobile phone with 128GB of storage. That would be more than enough of surf, play basic games, stream and watching movies. Same with the laptop, if you don't plan to save your games in it, you will be fine. Furthermore, you can use external storage and have an option to upgrade the memory and storage down the road if you need more. It is great for users who want to do light editing or gaming. The Ace Aspire 5 comes with a 48 watt 3 cell lithium ion battery, which Acer rates at 8 hours of battery. In real world use, that involves continuous web surfing over Wi Fi at 150 nits of brightness. The laptop lasts 6 hours and 53 minutes, which isn't bad for a budget laptop. In the second spot, as the best overall laptop, we have the Lenovo IdeaPad 314. The Lenovo IdeaPad 3 provides very powerful hardware for the price and only a few compromises, making it an affordable all-around laptop capable of light gaming and handling day-to-day -day tasks with ease. The IdeaPad 3 comes with a compact 14-inch display running at a resolution of 1920-1080 pixels, and it's a reasonably bright and crisp screen that is full HD. A quick look at its key specs will reveal that under the hood we've got an AMD Ryzen 5 35,000U CPU, which is a good performing quad-core processor that clocks in at an impressive base speed of 2.1 GHz and can go all the way to 3.7 GHz when we demand more horse horsepower. A quick look at its key specs will reveal that under the hood we've got an AMD Ryzen 5 3500 CPU, which is a good performing quad-core processor that clocks in at an impressive uh, base speed of 2.1 GHz and can go all the way to 3.7 GHz when we demand more horsepower. Basically, if you come from an Intel background, it delivers slightly better performance than the 8th generation core i5 equivalent. Memory-wise, Lenovo decided to hit the sweet spot of 8GB of DDR4 RAM, which is 2400 MHz, which is the minimum we need to be able to properly multitask on a slightly demanding setting. That said, you may also opt to upgrade the RAM up to 12GB by replacing one of the two 4GB modules. You need to replace the one that's not soldered onto the motherboard. Finally, the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 comes with a pretty generous 256GB of SSD storage. The battery capacity is decent for powering mid-range laptops like this. Battery life heavily varies depending on usage, settings, and other factors. It is estimated to last around 5-7 to seven hours. Next up, we have the best runner-up, the Asus VivoBook 15. The Asus VivoBook 15 strikes a nice balance between its large display, good design, whilst also delivering strong all-around performance and good connectivity at a very competitive price. From the get-go, we can appreciate that the Asus VivoBook 15 is no ordinary laptop. Just looking at it, we can see that it boasts a minimalist design with an 88% screen-to-body ratio, giving way to what is known as a nano-edge display. 
Surprisingly, for its price point, we are looking at a full HD display rather than the standard HD resolution we typically see on laptops below $500 price range. The Asus VivoBook 15 gets a refreshed look over its predecessor and it manages to pack a few premium design features that are commonly found in Asus high-end laptops. For instance, it now features an ergo lift hinge that angles the keyboard to offer a comfortable typing experience. Inside the VivoBook 15 is packed with a 10th generation Intel Core i3 105G1 dual core processor that clocks in at a base speed of 1.2 GHz and can reach a maximum speed of 3.4 GHz when overclocking is required. Add to that processor a nice 8GB RAM DDF4 as well as a solid state drive with 128GB of capacity and you've got yourself a powerful multitasking laptop that lends itself as a best solution for anything from college students to people looking to get an affordable yet good uh, laptop for the day-to-day -day course. Keep in mind this laptop is not equipped with a dedicated graphic card, meaning don't expect to play high-end games on it. This machine is not specially designed for gaming purposes, but for light gaming, yes, you can play them on this device. It has pretty decent battery life. For standard usage, web browsing, YouTube, you will get about 5 to 6 hours of battery life. And next on the list we have the Dell Inspiron 15 3000, which is made in 2021 and is recognized as the best one for students. Dell's Inspiron 15 3000 is a great laptop for students and anyone else looking for an affordable laptop. Design-wise, its entire casing is made of plastic, but it surprisingly feels very well constructed. The top has a pretty nice texture on it, which is good for gripping but can also be an oil trap and difficult to clean. The front edges are well-rounded so they won't cut into your wrists while typing. The sides are made of shiny glossy plastic, which is about the only feature of this laptop that makes it stick out a little. The keyboard is pretty decent, that key travel is good, the keys are well spaced apart and everything is pretty much located where it should be. The latest 2021 model Dell Inspiron 15 3000 is a business and student laptop with a 15.6 inch high definition display, Intel Celeron N4020 processor, 256GB SSD, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, the 15.6 inch display on the Inspiron 15 uh, 3000 has a resolution of only 1366 to 768. The panel is fine for writing documents and browsing the web, but tasks that require high levels of clarity, such as photo editing, are best left to other devices. The Inspiron 15 should last around 7 hours, which is really great if you ask for me considering the battery is only 40 watts. And for all of you the Chromebook lovers, last on the list we have the Acer Chromebook 315. With Acer Chromebook 315 you can call anytime, anywhere. An ideal multimedia companion, this special machine is ultra slim and lightweight and delivers unprecedented value in today's fast moving technology world. It has a 15.6 inch full HD touchscreen, excellent HDR camera, fast wireless connectivity and long battery life so you can start your favorite Google apps or have photos, videos, music and documents everywhere every day. The Acer Chromebook 315 features a basic design. The slim aluminum casing feels smooth and sturdy. There is some noticeable flex if you push the chassis down and some screen wobble if you give it a shaking, but nothing that really concerns me. The 15.6 inch version weighs 1.8 kg, that's fairly hefty but you can still just about lift it up with one hand, albeit with some wrist strain. There are of course limitations such as the lockdown Chrome OS opposed to the Windows and the Intel Pentium Silver processor that lags far behind flagship laptops. But Acer has managed to balance out all of these features to deliver a laptop capable of running basic day-to-day -day tasks without a hitch. 12.5 hour battery life is very long, you can enjoy a full day of free time with only one offer. The powerful battery provides you with the need to carry the powerful source with you. The powerful battery provides you with the need to carry the power source with you. Alright, we hit the bottom of this video, thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, peace out.